Hello everybody, my name is Storm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the Grand Republic. In the last episode, the Khan of the Povagon threw himself against a significantly more powerful Blorg fleet and got himself killed. And so that basically ended the conflict with the Povagon because a new Khan has arisen that has basically settled them as a, as a normal civilization rather than being, you know, marauders. So, yeah. Um, no longer able to fight them unless we actually formally declare war, which we're probably going to do here soon. So, decided to take my fleets and fly them on over here to the Nab Freebooters, which are the other remaining marauder, uh civilization here and just wipe them out to eliminate them as a potential threat to galactic peace so taking care of that and so yeah we're gonna finish this off we're probably gonna send a fleet over here to the povagon um demand that they become a protectorate when they refuse we're gonna go ahead and go to war with them send our fleets and troops in there deal with them and then begin preparations for a war with the Kelazan Republic well they have uh, it isn't just the Kelazan it's going to be the Han consumer products the Zoo Lokako Sacrosanct State the Zoom Commerce Guild and the Azerian Authority that we're going to have to fight and we fight them so it's, it's, it's going to be a fairly significant conflict to subjugate the Kelazan. So, that is kind of what the plan is going to be. And that's basically going to put most of the most of the galaxy under our control. Uh, we'll just have the Chinor Combine that uh, we're going to have to deal with at that point. And, yeah, then we'll just have a couple of... Uh, couple of fallen empires that hopefully aren't going to want to decide to start fighting with each other because then that's going to be a problem all right so let's go ahead and get to it let's see what have we got over here that we need to deal with uh 14k galleon 18k fleet that does not have a galleon Plus a few stations. Okay, so. Republic response fleet. If I were to order you for upgrades, where would you go? Over there. No. I'm actually going to order them to fall back out of here. I'm going to tell them to start flying back in this direction. And I'll probably... Let me think here. Where is the home fleet, by the way? Ah, it's undergoing upgrades at Seoul. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Task Group Columbia. Missing in action. It's a battleship. I'll just disband it. Once it reappears. Alright, well let's just go ahead and send the Katana fleet and whatever we have around here. Uh, probably not you, actually. Let's send the Katana fleet over there. And be done with this. 
All right, while they are flying over, let's go take a look at our planets and make sure they're managing everybody good. Not a lot I can do about this. And I could upgrade this. Ships upgraded. Hypercom's forum. Industrial world. Need some housing. I mean, it's all right right now. Go ahead and upgrade your capital. You got 66% crime. Really? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Is there anything we can do about that? Precinct houses. Enforce it. We'll get some precinct houses. Actually, get the precinct houses first. I could build a Psycor here. Um, I won't do that unless I have to. Mars is fine. You upgrade your, uh... Your capital. The Venetian habitat. You just need some workers. Industrial. Let's see. What do you need? You need some workers? Uh, what could I potentially want here? I guess we can build some generator district. All right, we've got battle going here. Uh, Vega Prime, you need some workers. Not that I really need farms, but I'll build a couple farms. Alright, so that galleon's gonna be destroyed before it even realizes what's going on. Construction complete. Ah, new tradition is available. We'll go ahead and get the extortion. And we got new tech. Grey Goo Warhead Torpedoes. Self-Empowerment. Technician job per... per 50 pops. Uh, Psionic Energy Projector. Ooh. End of the Nave Freeholders. Good. They're done. All right. We need to start moving some ships around. Alright, home fleet, because they're over here, once they are done with their upgrades, they're going to head over here Construction complete. to get ready to deal with these guys. Katana fleet... We'll probably also want to send the Federation fleet. So, Wyvern and Calum. I want you guys to head to the Cathea system.
for repairs. Well, is there anybody out here that has some shipyards? You don't, but you could. Well, I'm sure that the Blorg home system probably has some shipyards. You guys don't really need any upgrades, right? No, you just need repairs. So yeah, that's fine. Head there for now. Alright. Katana Fleet. Where would be the best place to kind of station ourselves to deal with the Kelazan? There's an entry point. There's an entry point with the Skildari. Yeah, there really isn't another way to get there. So, I'm going to go ahead and send my fleet down here. Actually, if you were to go for some upgrades, where would you want to park? You're going to head there for upgrades. There. No, no. You're heading over here for upgrades. Well, the thing is, they'll be able to jump back there pretty quickly. And they'll be, yeah, basically in the Elgate network. So, yeah, that works. That works for me. Get them upgraded, and then we're going to send them down to the the Kelazan border and get ready. Once we're done dealing with these guys, um, we will get the Re public response fleet parked somewhere. Monthly energy credits, plus 10%. Alright, good. Capital construction optimization. Uh, no, we're not doing with that just yet. Sapient combat AI? Eh. Shielding bulwark. I guess we'll go grab that. Oh, right. You need to get to New York. Survey. Okay. Uh, transport fleet. I think what we'll do... Where are you? Okay, you're in the area. So you head out here and get ready to participate in the action against the Povogun. You're going to need a general... Who would be good? Army upkeep and army damage. Army morale, army damage, army damage. Upkeep is not really a problem right now. So I think I'll go with you. You are... Parak Wek, you are a Pyorun? Alright. Fine. Sounds good. These transport fleets begin making your way into Blorg space. Or towards Blorg space. Start rallying there. No, no, no. Not there. Um, no. Rally there at that, uh, that Algate. Just park there. Widespread Xenophilia. 
The Grand Republic of Planets now has a very large minority that has embraced xenophilia, not only as an idea, but in practice. It's no longer unusual to see mixed species couples in the cities of the Grand Republic of Planets. This means that the xenophilic philosophy is now firmly entrenched. However, due to persistent and apparently unresolvable difficulties in making genetic codes and reproductive organs, in some cases compatible with each other, this has hit the birth rate. All right. Pop growth speed down 15%. Mm. It's all right. Construction complete. Could we do another relic activation? And get more Fallen Empire fleets? Perfect going for powerful temporary combat advantages. Construction complete. FTL speed was 500%. Construction complete. I'm not sure that's really needed, but I think I'm going to go ahead and activate the head of Zarklan again. Okay, who actually had those ships? Was it the response fleet? Avatar class battlecruiser. Yeah, it was the response fleet. Can you... I'll order them to go ahead and merge in. However long it takes. They will find them. Construction complete. Task Force Columbia has been fully repaired. Task Force Columbia. Right, 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 right. Task Force Columbia. You're going to span it. Bye. Okay. Reduction of crime on Sethrodeth. Good. System restricted. I'm not sure why. I mean, there's a wormhole in there. Construction complete. Adamantium armor's done. Right, let's deal with the research first. Uh, let's see. Hull ship, uh, ship hull points, flat cannons, auto cannons, machine template system, robot modification points, robo modding. I guess we'll go ahead and unlock that. We're running out of stuff to, to research there, I think. All right, talented official uncovered. V Viljar Odner. An official who has helped Mars's local democracy has impressed visiting human officials with his leadership abilities and good governance record. They have put his name forward to be given higher responsibilities within the Grand Republic's pl planet's governance structure. However, he is beloved by Mars's population. Who would be sad to see him go? We don't really need a governor, so you stay there. You know, get a building cost and citizen pop happiness buff. All right, good. Since we're getting a building cost reduction on Mars, perhaps. Do we have exotic 
rare crystals. Yeah, go ahead and upgrade that. Uh, let's see. What else might we want to build here? Some hollow theaters, perhaps? Galactic Stock Exchange. Well, as soon as that planetary capital is done, we can do that. And we're, we're making tons of amenities here, so we don't really need the amenities. But the train value, very nice. We just need to wait 25 days. Waiting here. Technology discovered. We got our psionic energy projector, nanite bombers. We'll go ahead and unlock those. You need some rulers, which we're going to upgrade the capital, but we need 80 pops. So again, that's. But a worker, workers we can deal with. Throw in some commercial zones. Construction complete. Uh, for you, I guess we'll just throw in a city district. You need workers. I guess we'll go ahead and get a couple of generator districts going there. You need some housing. Throw in a couple of city districts. That'll help that out. And you need workers. Um, city district. Do it. Okay. Technology discovered. Robo modable. Excellent. Though I don't really see myself using robots at all. They're too much of a potential source of trouble. Let's go ahead and get the Galactic Stock Exchange going. Alright. So what else can we do here? Is there a nice Patrol Craft 2 patterns? Patrol Craft 2 construction speed? Uh, replicator kiosks? I guess we'll go with Replicator kiosks. Home fleet should be getting upgrades. Survey complete. Upgrading one ship at a time. We should at least be able to upgrade two at a time. Oh, we have a Titan under construction. That's why. All right, well, that's going to take a little while. But we don't really need that guy to move yet until we are ready to engage the Kalazan. Uh, do we know anything else about them as far as their ships? 
or anything, and they're not willing to give me any kind of like shared sensors or anything like that, which makes sense. Construction complete. Research pr uh, proprietization. Propri uh, pri uh, prioritizing. There's the word. Engineering research. Uh, how shall we vote? Um, I really don't care. So I'm just going to go ahead and abstain. I'm not, I have no, no vested interest. Fifty-four ships need to be upgraded. I'm not worried about r upgrades with this fleet right now, just repairs. Technology discovered. All right, civilian replicators. Let's see. Alloy pro alloys from jobs. Um, oh, that's that's one of the like I think repeatables. Um, shield leech. Okay. Construction complete. Construction complete. Probably want to take a look at my ship designer. Though I'm not going to be able to do anything while any upgrades or construction are going on as far as modifying the designs. So, I'll have to wait till that's done. Katana Fleet is undergoing upgrades. We'll add another shipyard there. And... Should probably upgrade those defenses. Construction complete. Actually. If we disband a few of these. Oh, star base levels at Citadel. Upgrading the Star Fortress. Let's rebuild those. Not a problem. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to continue our sponsorship of the curators. The artisan troop, not the curators. The issue of prioritizing engineering research has passed. Okay. This fleet really needs some repairs. Oh my goodness. Vern's, um, not so much. No, they're, they're fine. But Calum is... Is a little worse for wear, it would seem. Research prioritization. Prioritiz Why am I having so much trouble saying that word? Prioritization granted. All right. Thirty-nine percent on the upgrades of the home fleet. Five hundred eighteen or five hundred days away from the Titan being constructed. 
I believe that's going to the response fleet. We're upgrading that into basically a full, fully featured fleet. So. We'll be ready to go. So once our fleet's in position, which it basically is, and ready to go. If I ordered you to upgrade, no, I'm not going to order you to upgrade. I'm good. I can order you to reinforce. There we go. But we shouldn't need that. Construction complete. I seriously doubt they're going to have anything that can contend with that fleet. Zarklands Pilgrims, they have a long way to go. Construction complete. All right, but we are at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here for now. So this fleet is going to be in position, so what we'll do next episode is we'll demand... Well, we're going to offer them a protectorate status. When they say no, um, we're going to go ahead and go to war with them to force them into protectorate status. And... We'll take care of them. And then we'll start getting the response fleet ready for a participation in the war with the Kalazan and their vassals. What does this do? Okay. Exit. All right. Galactic Nations Assembly is what we need to do here. And I need to nominate myself. There we go. Okay. So, with that, we'll go ahead and stop here for now. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.